Hey everyone, my name is Drathan and I want to welcome you to the Blind Tank cast for your news, views, and also my opinions on Blizzard gaming and other MMO genres. There's a lot of news out there this week, so let's just get started. Hey guys, I hope you all had a great week this week. There's been a lot of Blizzard news and not a lot of stuff coming out of uh, Bioware. Even Ion doesn't even have anything if you guys play Ion. Um, but again, like I said, Blizzard has gotten uh, a lot of news, so let's get a little bit into, uh, into that. First, let's do the uh, biggest one. Uh, the, actually, the smallest uh news that's come out of blizzard this week again blizzard has gone and talked about the azeroth chopper the horde chopper if you are a horde member you will be getting soon your uh your bike uh congratulations to all you horde members of uh, world of warcraft alliance you can also get uh, the bike um, there will be, according to a blue post from Blizzard, there will be a huge expense. Speculation on this is anywhere between a thousand gold to the same amount as a uh, a Pandaren Yak mount. Um, I'm not really going to talk about this. I'm not going to get it and get get into what my opinion is. There's been enough. On the blue post, there's been enough on Twitter and everything else. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired of hearing about it, so let's move on to something else. Blizzard this week has announced that August 14th will be their press release for Warlords of Draenor. They will be showing the cinematics for the beginning of the, the X-Pack. They will also be announcing a date for when this x back is coming uh, I don't know about you guys but I cannot wait until Warlord shows up I really can't they're also going to be talking about a couple other things one of them is the pre-patch 6.0 when it's going to be released how long it's going to be released for so we can get used to all the new changes um, and also what they're going to be doing for the 10th year anniversary. What I have seen is there is a lot of stuff that they're going to be doing, and a lot of it is really exciting, especially one in particular. And like I said, again, this is going to be August 14th at 9 a.m. PDT. So those of you who are on the East Coast, that's going to be at noon. We're going to be getting the trailer for Warlords of Draenor, questions and answers, and it's going to be basically a full press release. So keep an eye out on Twitter, Twitter, Twitch, and other media to get more information. Also keep an eye on MMOChampions.com. Uh, they'll be having more and more news uh, coming out about this uh, what I also understand this is also coming out around the same time as Gamescom so uh, cannot wait to to hear what's coming on with that next up before I get into the news of the 10th anniversary uh, stuff that Blizzard is going to be doing um, Blizzard also uh, released this week its new comic in PDF form. It's called Golden Goldan and the Stranger. Um, haven't seen it yet. Looks pretty cool. Uh, probably checking it out sometime this weekend. Okay, on to the 10th anniversary uh, things that. Uh, things that are going to be happening in um, World of Warcraft. Uh, let's talk about the first thing uh, from Blizzard itself. It says that when when you log in on, our ten, on the 10th anniversary, uh, you will be uh, getting a cor fiery corgi. If you want to see what this looks like, again, 
go to MMO Champions. They got a nice little uh, picture of him. He looks kind of cute. Um, and uh, like I said, he, he looks kind of cute. Um, that's the, the first thing. Also, the next of uh, what is going to be coming up, um, and this is unprecedented for uh, Blizzard itself, they will be going back to some of the nostalgic things that have happened in vanilla and that is molten core you heard it right ladies and gentlemen molten core the 40 man raid will be an lfr special lfr um raid um it will uh, it will st- i don't have the, the exact dates on when it's going to start but basically again it's a 40 man raid in lfr when you complete it and this completing is killing ragnaros um you will get a an achievement that says that you've killed them on the anniversary and you will be getting a core hound mount um again i'm looking at the uh what the mount looks like on mmo champions and it looks pretty awesome um I can again I cannot wait to see it um, these uh, uh, this LFR we all know how LFR is um, before you go in uh, into this LFR gather as many friends as you can take a deep breath hope for the best expect the worst and somewhere you'll end up in the middle hate to say that but LFR has been around since Cataclysm. We all know what it, what to expect about it. Maybe you'll get a gr- good group. Maybe you won't. Hopefully, you'll get a good group. Um, my guild and I were, uh, my guild that I belong to, we're gathering everybody up as many people as we can, so we don't have a lot of uh, a lot of pugs with us. However, we're still going to have some pugs with us. This next piece of nostalgia is going to be a PvP uh, thing, and it's going to be put into the uh, battleground, the battleground queuing, and it's going to be Terran Mill versus um, South Shore. It is um, you're going to have an objective that you have to to uh, uh, do. To win, there is a winner. There is a loser. It, it, it's it's there's no way of getting around it. Um, so alliance horde, get your weapons sharpened, get your your armor all together that you need to get together, and it's time and get in there and have have a lot of fun. Now the reason why I like this and the reason why I made this the last part of the 10 year anniversary. Um, talk about on this cast is because I've been in Mortal Warcraft since the middle of vanilla I remember these battles these epic battles between Terran Mill and South Shore where it would go for hours and you know if if you were a low-level person and you were trying to to get quest done it wasn't going to happen when this battle was going on but just watching this battle going backward and back and forth and and the horde going into uh south shore and destroying everything in south shore the alliance going into terran mill and doing the same thing this like i said epic battles that would last for hours and sometimes it, it would last for days people would log out and log back in and the battle would still be going on because of of this battle and a few other of the battles this is one of the reasons why we have um bgs and pvp uh, battle uh, battlegrounds and, and arenas and things like that in world of warcraft is because the community went and said this is what we want and let us show you at blizzard this is why we want it and blizzard took the hint um it's a more of a this this battleground is more of a thank you from blizzard um and also those of us who are nostalgic about this uh battleground 
it, it to us is just absolutely it, it's great I can't wait to see it now this will be at max level um, if you uh, you will not if you're you know if you're below 90 you're not going to get into it um, however this is going to be some really cool stuff and I cannot wait to see this I cannot wait to see the uh, the molten core again another one that is uh, max level um, the uh, the drop and the the drop for the mount and the achievement is really cool but again max level going up against rag and all of his minions through molten core to me is just it's just great i mean i can't wait to see it um and again i cannot talk enough about it but i don't want to bore you guys either Let's get on to a little bit more of uh, Warlord news and blue posts that have uh, come out this week from Blizzard. Blizzard this week uh, talked to, in their blue posts a lot of, about uh, a little bit about the racials, the classes, different changes that will be happening with the uh, the changes. Also, uh, a little bit of the the lore on the Arakoa. Um, you know the. Uh, painting their uh, feathers and why they're they're really into uh, shinies or or jewels um, the also uh, uh, like I said again in uh, PvP news um, the timers that we have in in mist right now there's going to be a little bit of change in some of them but not a whole lot there's a lot of uh, uh, according to Blizz um, in the PvP area there's a lot of things that are still on the high to-do list um, and they're trying to to get different stuff taken care of PvE news um, you're still uh, they're still having a lot of different things that they're working on uh, again with class changes balancing changes as a warrior myself I'm looking right now with uh, this week's changes I don't see a lot of changes uh, for the warriors hopefully warriors we may or may not get some love this uh, expansion I'm keeping my fingers crossed on it um, one of the things that they are talking about is the uh, gladiator stance for warriors and they're hoping and they're hoping and they're uh, they're trying to make gladiator um, stance a viable thing in PvP for us uh, warriors so we can go in there as tank and help get different uh, uh, things done that need to be done so we don't have to change back and forth uh, in uh, different armor to me I think this is a good thing um, I like questing doing different things in my tanking uh, spec and if this saves room in my bags my bank my void storage everything like that that all I have to do is run around with one or two pieces I mean, one or two uh, uh, sets of armor and that's it I'm a happy I'm a happy uh, um, warrior wait and see on that can't wait to see it also ladies and gentlemen like I said um, for more news on the blue posts and keeping up to date with the different things that are going on in the beta I would just suggest to go to MMO champions and uh, and that is MMO sla uh, slash champions.com they've got up to the minute news on what is happening and y you need to check it out I mean if you're a casual player if you're a hardcore player this is something that I would suggest that that you do and that's it for blizzard news this week uh, I have a something else that I want to talk about a little bit and then we're gonna end this cast alright ladies and gentlemen 
to my last subject on this cast and then we're going to call it a day is let me explain what what happened uh, last weekend I was listening to a uh, podcast that had some really um, uh, well-known people on it uh, from COD and for those of you who do not know what COD is COD is uh, Call of Duty. These guys are podcasters, uh, podcasters and streamers that stream uh, these games. They have what they call a state of union, a state of the union, and what they were doing was they were talking about different things that was going on in the game, different uh, things that had uh, happened uh, to them as a streamer. Uh, but there was one gentleman. Uh, on this uh, stream that stood out above the rest and and one of the other guys I I respect a lot because of his uh, WWF uh, channel that he does but this this one gentleman that stood out out of all of them was uh, was Reaper Reaper and the reason why Reaper stood out is because Reaper has a policy that he stands by, he lives by, and he doesn't break it. And that is no foul language, no uh, explicit material um, or language on uh, his channel. And he explained why. His biggest fear for, for that was that kid goes to YouTube finds one of his videos uh, he's listening to it and they're listening to it no headphones on mom and dad walks past and hears somebody just going you know bat crazy with explicit language you know sexual content all that kind of stuff he doesn't want that he doesn't want you know uh, that embarrassment not only for himself but he doesn't want that embarrassment for the parents of these kids. Dang thing is, is I'm going to be adopting this uh, this policy that Reaper has on his channel and on his stream, and I'm going to coin it parent friendly. Um, parents, if you are listening to this channel, I'm going to make you a promise. You do not have to worry about your children um, hearing things that they should not be hearing. This channel is going to be borderline PG. The worst thing that you're going to hear out of me and this channel is maybe frack. Um, I will also say while I'm streaming, I use a uh, mumble program. If you, if I hear you know, a person come into into the channel and they're they're t- uh, starting to talk and things like that, and all of a sudden they're starting to cuss like a a drunken Irish sailor. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to either change channels, or I'm going to wait and let them know, hey, I'm streaming. You know, do whatever needs to be done to make sure that your kids do not hear that type of thing. Or I won't publish that video at all. In fact, I'll probably delete it off of my Twitch channel because I don't want that on my Twitch. I don't want that on my YouTube channel. And like I said, parents, you can take this to the bank. Your kids will not hear that crap on my channel. I promise you that. I believe in something that... it has kind of lost its way and that is called the golden rule I want to be re- respected I want respect from people so I need to treat you with respect so this is something that I'm doing now you guys are probably going what the hell is Dre doing what I'm doing is I'm going and giving you a mission statement of what is going to be going on this channel first of all I just got done promising parents that this will be a parent friendly channel now for what is going to be going on what am I going to do on this channel 
first of all what I'm going to be doing on my streaming and in my channel it's it, it's symbiotic I'm going to be streaming a lot of different stuff of Blizzard games even Hearthstone I may be uh, uh, streaming if you guys want to see Hearthstone I'm not a really good player at it but I'll, I'll try it if you guys want to see it um, I'm going to try to give you the best content that I can give technical wise and me wise I know ladies and gentlemen that I have a uh, um, communication difficulty and we'll get into that in a, in a minute like I said, I'm going to try to upload at least once a day a video of what I've been, uh, what I've done from the stream. So you can expect that at least once, one video a day. What is, what about the uh, blind tank cast? The blind tank cast. I'm going to try to give you a video, try to give you commentary of what's been going on in Blizzard news and other gaming news that is going on and what may affect us as it happens if I don't know or I don't understand something that I do know that another podcaster or a website may have better um, uh, you know ability to tell you about it I'm going to send it to you I'm going to send you to them I'm going to put their link down in my comments to make sure that you're informed you're educated that's what this channel is all about is educating and informing and possibly having fun as I get in trouble now a lot of you guys a lot of you guys don't know this I'm a legally blind person and I have MS really don't want to get in into that all that much I want to have fun I want to have fun with people that are in my channel and I get in trouble all the time you know running into stuff because of my uh, uh, visual impairment now this, the other thing that I'm going to let you guys know that on my streams I'm going to be streaming and helping out and doing fundraisers on my stream and I'm going to publish them here to YouTube with that I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be about I'm a big supporter of uh, breast cancer um, anything that has to do with fundraising on breast cancer it hit home with me uh, a few years ago with uh, my better half and I want to see this disease stopped Jerry's kids kids should never ever have to go through a disease that debilitates them I'm going to make sure that when there's a uh, uh, thing out there for Jerry's kids or even able gamers able gamers is another good thing for kids that help kids and other people to get into the gaming community um, also uh, there'll be you know fundraisers for MS hopefully one of these days they'll find a cure for my disease uh, multiple sclerosis is not a fun thing I've been beating it and the reason why I've been beating it according to my doctor is because of the MMOs and things that I do I want uh, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is I'm going to be here for a long time as long as I, I'm able to do it I'm going to uh, stream I'm going to upload videos I hope that I get better at communicating to you guys of what's going out there I hope that my I, I make enough and bring bring uh, uh, the technology that I have up so you get better quality in the videos in the sound I'm hoping for all of that but one step at a time first things first I want you ladies and gentlemen to have fun on my stream I want you all to be educated of what's going on in Blizzard and other type of games that we play this stream this stream and this channel is for the casual player I will never ever ever call a casual player something dirty 
I, I will never um, say that, you know, casual players are, are the worst thing. They're not. They're the people who pay the bills to the games that we all play. And I respect those people. This channel is dedicated to them. Not you. If you're a hardcore player, a hardcore raider, a hardcore PvP, -er, that type of stuff, this channel is not for you. If you are a casual player, a working mom and dad that loves to play MMOs to blow off steam, this is the channel for you. And I'm going to, this is my promise to you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try to get to be the best that I can be so I can give you the best content that you have. That's all I have to say. I hope I made sense. I hope that uh, you like what you're hearing. I hope that you like my uh, my vids that I uh, that I publish. I hope that you uh, like the cast that I'm doing for Blind Tank. If you do, hit subscribe, hit like, tell your friends about it. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much. It's been an honor, and I can't wait. And I say that a lot. I can't wait, but I can't. I can't wait to this this um, channel gets large. We have a lot of people in the streams. Everybody is listening. But that again, that that is one day at a time. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say. Thank you. Thank you for following me. Thank you for uh, streaming. Hit like. And again, I just got to say, my name is Drathan, a.k.a. The, a. the Blind Tank. And I hope you enjoy what you're listening to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of the show. I want to say thank you very much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, hit like. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe if you want. Leave a comment. The only thing I ask is please be nice. My name is Drathan, a.k.a. The Blind Tank. Again, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a good night. I'm out of here.